Hi, I'm Jeff Blake and welcome to Total Training for Adobe Illustrator CS4. I'm an author and a video presenter and a designer, but most importantly, I'm a rabid Illustrator fan. And I'm here to show you all of the amazing things that are possible inside Adobe's vector editing application. Now, inside Chapter 1, what we'll do is we'll take a look at the Illustrator interface. I'll give you a tour, we'll show you how to customize some things here inside Illustrator, and I'll also show you how to navigate around inside your documents. So, let's check out Adobe Illustrator. All right, as soon as you launch Illustrator, you're met with Illustrator's welcome screen, sort of a, a greeting here inside Illustrator. Inside the left-hand column, we could open up a recent item if we had opened up a previous Illustrator file, or we could click on Open and go and find a document to open up. In the bottom left, we have Getting Started, New Features, some resources, and Illustrator Exchange. You can check those out if you like. And then also over in the right-hand column, we have Create New. So I could create a new print document, a new web document. Illustrator will even let me create projects for use in mobile devices if I want, and even video and film, as you can see here. Okay, so I'm going to click on Print Document. And I met with the new document dialog box. Right away, right up at the top here, I'm going to give my new document a name. My new document. I could also choose a document profile if I want. So I can actually create my own document profiles and save them. I can also set a number of artboards. This is a new feature inside Illustrator CS4. In previous versions of Illustrator, we only had one artboard. Now I can have multiple artboards. And I'll explain what an artboard is in just a moment. So this is something that we'll come back to in just a little while. Below that, I have the paper size that I want to work with. Letter or tabloid, maybe, that sort of thing. Or I could go and set a custom width and a custom height if I wish. Over on the right-hand side, I can change my unit of measurements. I'll switch to inches here. And I also have the orientation for my document, portrait or landscape. Below that, I have some bleed options. If you know about bleed from the print industry, you can pop it in here. If not, don't worry about it. And then below that, we have advanced. So I could come in here and set up my color mode if I wanted to, the resolution for my raster effects, and also the preview mode here. I'm going to leave all the defaults here. As a matter of fact, I'll close advanced there. I'll head all the way up to OK. And there's our brand new document. We're ready to roll here inside Illustrator. Now, what I see on the screen here, this is my artboard. The artboard is the printable area that I can work inside here inside Illustrator. If I have some art or some objects that are falling off of the artboard here, then they'll get cut off when they get printed. Or I can store other objects off of the artboard, maybe like alternative versions of logos and things like that. I could store them over on the left or right sides, and they wouldn't get printed when I output the document. Now, something else I'll do here, I'm going to go and open up a sample file. I'm going to head up to the File menu, down to Open. And inside the Chapter 1 folder, which is inside your project files, which is sitting on your desktop, look for invaders.ai. Go ahead and open him up. There's a few space invaders for us to have a look at, but what I really wanted to show you is up at the very top of the Illustrator interface, I now have these tabs running across the top of my screen, and when I click on them here, I can switch between my open documents, so I can have all kinds of documents open inside Illustrator, and these tabs are a new feature inside Illustrator CS4. If you'd like some keyboard shortcuts for flipping between your open documents, try hitting Control tab here on the Windows side, or on the Mac, try hitting Command tilde. The tilde is the key just to the left of the one key, way up in the top left corner of your keyboard. 